Precious Metal Summit 2022 here in Zurich, Commodity TV for you. And now we have John Black here, the CEO of Regulus Resources. And we want to get, of course, an update from you. Hey, how are you? Doing well. It's nice to see, yeah. to see you again after a few years oh, when geez, we've been Christ. doing other things. Here. Yeah, that's yeah. easily three years ago when we yeah. did the last one. I think yeah. it was exactly here in Zurich in that yeah. room. Yeah. Um, yeah, so three years, uh, long time frame with Corona and everything. Yeah. And the Cori is your project yes. in Peru. So what were the highlights? this year the highlights really this year is we're, we're drilling with two drill rigs and we've been drilling for this entire past year we're nearing the completion of our phase two drill program mm -hmm. which will allow us to put out a new resource in q2 of next year and that'll build on our interim resource just to remind everyone the current resource we have right now is about 250 million tons of indicated mineralization at a 0.48 percent copper grade with 0.29 grams of, per ton of gold mm -hmm. and seven grams of silver as well. So combined grade that's quite attractive moving forward. We also have an additional 267 million tons of similar grade material in the inferred category. So overall more than 500 million tons of quite attractive grade mineralization at a very low strip ratio. That is our first interim resource with 30,000 meters more of drilling and an updated resource anticipated in Q2 of next year. Okay, wow. So there's a lot going on. I it's would growing. Say. It's Drills growing. are turning yeah. today now? Yeah, two drill rigs turning right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have additional drill results out um, probably in, in two weeks for the next batch coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. So what would be the target you want to wish for for the next resource estimate? I mean, for sure, as much as possible. But what, yeah, what do I have you to be think? A little, I have to be a little cautious on yeah. it. We're not mm -hmm. really allowed to say what it is. But we wouldn't be doing it if it's not going to be a substantial increase. Yeah. But one of the things that's important to note about this is that we're working on a very large copper gold sulfide deposit mm -hmm. but w it's only a portion of the overall deposit our deposit extends on to the neighbors ground the neighbors are a joint venture that consists of three companies it's Buenaventura mm -hmm. the large Peruvian precious Whoa. metal miner okay. Southern Peru copper which is Grupo Mexico's mm -hmm. Peruvian subsidiary and a small family company called Espro those three companies together have the property next door mm -hmm. which has the other half or more of the sulfide deposit that we're working on. Mm -hmm. And their side of the ground, they also have an oxide cap with, that they can process on the top for gold mineralization. So they're mm -hmm. doing a heap leach gold mine mm -hmm. on the top of their project, which is effectively pre-stripping the large copper gold sulfide deposit, which exists partly on their ground, mm -hmm. partly on our ground. I mentioned that we have over 500 million tons of mineralization on our ground. <coughs> their latest resource update is a little over 900 million tons mm -hmm. at a slightly lower grade than ours. So yeah. you combine those two and you can start to see how big this deposit is and, and it's wide open on both sides of the property boundaries. So mm -hmm. the mine next door on the oxide mine runs out of ore in five years. Uh -huh. So they're effectively pre-stripping, yeah. and in five years, they need to either close their mine mm -hmm. or move into a much larger copper gold sulfide mine. And mm -hmm. we believe the, the best way to do that, the most profitable way to do that, has to integrate our ground into it. So an eventual mm -hmm. consolidation of the district is very probable and very yeah. obvious, yeah. and that really needs to be done pretty soon. Even yeah. though it's five years until that mine is exhausted next door, mm -hmm. to have the permitting in place to make that transition, mm -hmm. something has to happen in the immediate future. Yeah, fully understood. So that uh, would mean a combination or to take you over or whatever. Yep. There's a lot of uh, possibilities, I would say. A lot <laughs> of possibilities, most of which we can't talk about because yeah, of, of course, confidentiality of course. reasons. Yeah, that's yes. for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I saw also that uh, Osisco Gold Royalties invested... Uh, Yes, some money into you yep. guys. That's interesting. That was a it was a an idea that we we've, we've known the Cisco guys for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, just we're in the circles we work in. They're they're mm -hmm. a quality group. They work in a similar way to us in in many ways. Mm -hmm. And our our VP corporate development, uh, Adam Greening, came up with a rather clever idea that mm -hmm. on the on our ground, our original land package consisted of a number of small claims that had royalties on those, mm -hmm. and those royalties. Um, were in many ways it'd be nice for us to have those removed going mm -hmm. forward but the big royalty companies couldn't get to them they're hard to locate the individuals are typically people that live out in the mm -hmm. countryside and other areas <coughs> and so as Cisco um, worked with us on a plan whereby they provide us with twelve and a half million dollars mm -hmm. in exchange for when we buy a royalty mm -hmm. um, they they pay three quarters of the cost to buy the royalty mm -hmm. They get half the royalty, and the other half we extinguish. So it's mm -hmm. it's an unusual agreement whereby mm -hmm. uh, we're 
we're doing an agreement with a royalty company where we receive funds to reduce the overall royalty on our property mm -hmm. and transfer the remaining portion of the royalty to a Cisco and modernize the royalty document mm -hmm. more properly. So it's quite a creative deal, and it's, it's definitely win-win for both sides on this. Mm -hmm. It also has them not as an equity shareholder of the company, but as a business associate of the company. And particularly in these trying times when it's difficult to do a private placement or mm -hmm. very dilutive if you do mm -hmm. a private placement at these prices, having income come to us with no issuance of shares mm -hmm. is, is very helpful for our shareholders. So it's a creative deal to do the best we can in a situation mm -hmm. which is somewhat challenging to raise funds. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So the drills are turning. You mm -hmm. have enough money in the bank. Yes. So yeah. next year, the big target, of course, the resource estimate. That is for resource sure. Maybe some update, other stuff. And then we'll be working in the background. Hopefully, hopefully sometime in the not too distant future, we can provide a way that we can see the true potential of this project going forward. Mm -hmm. OK, super. Who are your largest shareholders? Our largest shareholder is a fund out of San Francisco called Route One. They own about 24% of the company. Mm -hmm. As management, we own about 13% of the company. Mm -hmm. nice. The remaining portion of the company starts to get fragmented up, but is largely held in the hands of loyal shareholders. Keep in mind that when we made our first discovery with our first company, Antares Minerals, and we sold that, shareholders of Antares received spin-out shares into Regulus. So mm -hmm. we have helped groups that did well in our first success story. They've held those shares for a long time, and they're confident that we'll be able to do it again. Super. Perfect. So that sounds like a great game plan. We wish you all the best for that. And uh, yeah, let's see what possibility you are taking the next year. We're, we're, we're pleased. It's tough market conditions right Oof, now, but yeah. we have our hands on a great project. And these copper deposits are, are more and more difficult for us to find mm. right now. And um, we need them. And we very much need them. So yeah. to have our hands on a, on a copper deposit like this, mm -hmm. particularly with the precious metals content that's mm -hmm. associated mm -hmm. with it as well, that it's a great asset to have at this point in time. And I think as, as we come out of some of the economic turmoil we have right now, we're likely to see a, a notable increase in copper price and perhaps gold price as well. And That's when that me. happens, that all eyes will be on us. Absolutely. So, and if we look all the uh, movements with e-mobility, with infrastructure, I mean, copper prices can only go higher. They really, that's that's where they are. So we're, we're pleased to be on this one and, and we're in good hands and it'll be nice to reveal the full potential soon. Absolutely. And you have to write an able. Yep. <laughs> Super. Yep. John, thank you very much for the update. Okay, thank you. Great. Take care. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was John Black, CEO of Regulus Resources. And you heard it, the right neighbors, the right metals, especially when, you, when we talk about copper with the waste product precious metals that is fantastic and the drills are turning so a lot of uh, results shall come out here and also the company is well cashed up so check out the company thanks for watching us and bye bye from zurich